Anyways, hey guys, welcome back to another video. I, uh, I'm not going to be making a very long one today, but as you can see on my screen, playing a Star Wars game. It's a game that I used to play a really long time ago. It's Lego. So it's obviously fun, and, uh, yeah, and I'd really like to share it with you guys. Just play it around a little bit, and maybe you guys can find something cool for me to do with it or something. Ooh, nervousness. You know, time and all that. But, uh, yeah. I'm scared, like, all my family members are going to hear me. So it's gonna make me go back into my old stuff and I'm just gonna go into my account here. I uh oh. So yeah, the way I'm doing this is I'm twitching it off my Xbox, so the graphics probably aren't gonna be very great. So maybe I can make up one for that with commentary. Sure. But, um, yeah, that's the best way I can do it right now, and I really have been feeling the passion to do it, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a new game, and uh -huh. I think there's a little bit of a delay from my stream to my friend that's watching it, which should be kind of annoying. As you can see, I've played around with it a little bit anyways, but not for her quite some time. Mm, quite some time. 2022, July. So, just fill up that last slot. Four's my favorite number anyways. <laughs> Time's a little bit. And the opening credits. Also, Unfortunately, I don't have the game sound because, like I said, I have pretty crappy internet and the sound was really choppy and I'd rather it just not be there and it just be me talking than it cut in and out. I found it really annoying, but yeah, whatever floats your boat. So the prologue, Geonosian Arena, Jedi Master Obi-Wan Kenobi has traveled to Geonosis in pursuit of the bounty hunter Jango Fett. However, he has been captured by Count Dooku, the leader of the Separatist conspiracy against the Republic. Anakin and Padme received Obi-Wan's distress signal, but they too have been captured. Oh, there's more. All three now await their fate in the Geonosian execution arena. Ah, this is definitely, the opening level is definitely one of the best levels. I love this one. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do about this delay. I'm, like, reading the stuff off my phone so that you guys can, like, be in sync with that. But, like, the gameplay is going to be a little odd because that's in real time. It's not, like, a turn-based thing. <laughs> I love LEGO games. So childish and silly. But the simplicity makes them just... Mm. Uh, really hoping I can get into this. It's fun for me, and if I could connect with a few people, that would be really cool. But if not, I mean, just something to do. Try to go out of my comfort zone a little bit. <laughs> Ooh. Some chains. <laughs> about this. <laughs> the flamethrower. Pretty sure there's a flamethrower. Yeah? Maybe I missed it. Hmm. I'm gonna try to start doing daily uploads, but if not, eh, I'm kinda like a nervous wreck to this, so maybe I can say that. Oh, 
happen all the time. My Xbox went on idle. <laughs> I'm so stupid. I can say that uh, if I would happen to get like somebody who connected with me or watched me or something, I probably would. I, you know, feel like it. But for now, I'm just gonna try to practice and hone in on my skills a little bit and develop. You know. So. Yeah, there we go. You guys have joined me now. Um, it says B. Okay, so B is how we use the force. And it wants me to use it on this leg. Oh, okay. So it like, it sliced it. Yeah. And we'll do it that. I don't know how the real-time strategy is going to work with this. I guess I'll just kind of commentate not so much on the gameplay. That's the best way I can think about it. Yeah, so for anybody, of any of you who aren't too familiar with LEGO games, it's generally like a puzzle-type game in which you have like a couple different characters you can switch between, and it's really good for multiplayer. So I'd probably be down to play it with one of my siblings or something, but that also sounds like a hassle, so I'm not sure. I really hope that you guys enjoy it. And if not, that's fine. If you have any tips or anything for how I could improve as a commentator or anything, I'd love that. All right. I think I have to tame this rhino thing as of the moment. And then I get to mount him. Kind of cool using the force. Oh. So he's tamed. Then, if you guys seen that cat like thing in the beginning, I have to go run into that. In the top middle as an icon up there. I'm shocked that this is working. Like the quality isn't absolutely horrendous, and I'm quite happy. Bang. <laughs> um, and these things that look like coins are literally coins, but they're referred to as studs. And you can use those to do a lot of cool things later on, like unlock unlockables and things like that. I've always been a big fan of trying to collect them, but that probably won't be my main focus while I'm recording. Yeah, come back. One more. Hopefully that catches up to you guys here soon. Yeah, get it going night night. Um, who's your guys' favorite Star Wars character? Because I know mine's Obi One. I like how uh, more reserved he is and how adaptive he is. I've always thought he was a really witty and pretty cool character overall. He's balanced, but you know, I always go with balanced, but. For the dark side, I'd say it's probably Count Dooku. I love his, like, intentions with things. Although I don't, <laughs> it didn't really work out for him. But I always thought he was a cool, pretty genuine character as well. And I don't know. Even, in, like, his fighting style and stuff was cool. But if you uh, guys feel like, he, what's your favorite Star Wars character? Oh, okay. I gotta attack its legs. That makes more sense. Bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. Yeah. Oh. There's so many things. I'm learning all the controls again. I'm pretty sure there's a way to block the bullets and things. No, maybe I'm wrong. Oh. Okay. So we're 
taking down this big boy. Okay. So, okay, so we're straining. Oh, this is the power move. Bang, bang, bang. Oh, did I do it again? Okay. Ah, oh, these droids, man. Um, again, if you guys aren't too familiar with LEGO games, uh, you can't actually, like, die, which I find is awesome, especially if I'm trying to play with, like, my younger siblings, and when I was younger, I loved these games, and that was, you know, a savior, but, uh, additionally, get that one, um, you lose studs, though. Usually about a thousand something. It's not too thousand too much, but it gives you incentive not to die still. Because you want to try to collect as many as you can no matter what. <laughs> Jingo Fett. He's always kind of got on my nerves. Like, I, I don't know. And then Boba. Yeah. I guess they're supposed to as antagonists. Mace Windu. I think I'm supposed to throw my lightsaber at him. So it's sad, but I'm already about to lose more coins. Oh, I knocked him down. Well, I guess I haven't quite yet. There we go. Now you guys see it. Oh, this is a match. Sorry. Um, if there's any other games that you'd like to see me play, I would also like for you to let me know that. I believe I could probably play Fortnite just as well as I could this, and I really enjoy recording Fortnite compared to a lot of other things I've done, even though I've only done two. Don't judge me. Um, I just realized I could throw them. This is so fun. But yeah, I think I could. I just obviously have terrible graphics, and I don't know. I'll try to improve that over time if I can figure that out. But let's go chase after Jango. <laughs> You guys are watching my killing spree. Oh. So I gotta hit him, even if I die. Ah, oh, there it is. Get my blue stud back. Yeah, because the... I think... The gray studs... Yeah, there's my blue stud. The blue studs are worth a thousand. I think the gold ones are worth a hundred, and the silver ones are ten, although I could have the gold and silver mixed up. Dang, he really wanted to Chris Brown it. <laughs> I keep forgetting there's a face cam. I'm gonna like look over and be like, okay, <laughs> that's me. I generally am this ugly, but I'd say I'm probably a little bit uglier right now due to lack of sleep. It's me though. I'm Leo, by the way. I realize I have my channel name Corrugate right now. I, I like, I feel like it just sounds kind of cool, kind of cringy, but kind of cool at the same time. And like, I don't really feel like I have to mix numbers with it, which I do like as well. Like my other channel names for like Plain Sight 16, Leo Boom 16. I could just be like Leo Boom. <laughs> That's my like Xbox and well, my gaming usernames generally. Same with Plain Sight 16 and Plain Sight. It's just a whole conundrum. But I feel like Corrugate also kind of like expresses my techiness. I feel kind of techy. Even if I'm not very tech savvy, I enjoy video games, obviously, and things of that matter. Bang. So 
Ooh, I opened them all up. I think it's for an escape, and now I gotta close them. Hmm. This reminds me of playing Battlefront 2 when I was younger. Like, I used to. I get so nostalgic about some of these older Star Wars games and even just older games in general. It's crazy. I remember playing as Keanu Mundi on Camino, slicing people. I really do enjoy the uh, newer Battlefront 2, though, and oh, I'd definitely be down to record that. Did I, I feel like this is probably my best bet right now, though, because where it's older, the bad, bad graphics of the stream kind of mix in better with the graphics of the game. And the game is not near as um, taxing on the system and stuff, which I think probably helps with the... Uh, Oh, that's hilarious. Probably helps with the stream fluid and stuff. Those games are really big, so I'll see what I can do. But right now, I really love this game. I wanted to share it with you guys, and I'm glad we got a level down tonight. Now I'll try to get this posted, and I would like to make a committed let's play on this. I might do some more Plants vs. Zombies. I don't know. And it's kind of iffy. I feel kind of weird doing phone games, but it could be fun, you know? Just something to grind out and put on YouTube. I want to make the best content I can for you guys, though. And that being said, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, I mean, subscribers mean a lot to me. So do likes. And even just a comment. If you don't really like it, hey, let me know. I'll take any suggestions. But, uh, you guys have a great night and you have a great day whenever you're watching and I hope whatever's next is great, grand and wonderful.